Dr. Chase Hayden from the Hayden Institute, where we help our patients to become healthy and well without the use of drugs and surgery. In our gluten sensitivity series so far, we've talked about a wide variety of topics relating to gluten, such as what is it, how do we test for it, how do we avoid glutens, what type of symptoms it may cause, and really what is gluten doing into our body. We want to explore a little bit more about what gluten does to our intestinal tract today. Glutens, if we're sensitive to them, can stimulate an inflammatory reaction in our intestines. Basically meaning that as our intestines become inflamed, they don't work as well as they could. Typically with gluten sensitivity and celiac disease, we see a decrease in the microvilli of the intestinal wall. These are the finger-like projections that come from our intestines that allow for nutrient absorption to occur. When that nutrient absorption is diminished, your cells in your intestines start getting more inflamed and swollen, and it leads to a symptom known as leaky gut. Leaky gut is exactly what it sounds like. Things in your system now become permeable that normally would not be there. So in our digestive tract, our body attempts to absorb nutrients as well as it can, but gluten being an irritant to the digestive tract prevents that mechanism from working as it should. If a leaky gut process has occurred, we now have the potential of other things to get through the digestive lining that really don't belong. These could be infections, metals, chemicals, uh, large food molecule proteins like gluten can now enter into our bloodstream and a wide variety of other things can pass through the permeable membranes in our, of our intestinal lining that really have no place be in, the, in our bloodstream. So in addition to creating reactions such as digestive complaints, headaches, skin conditions, neurologic disorders, psychiatric disorders, and more, gluten also has the potential to expose our bloodstream through our digestive tract to other irritating and inflammatory substances. When a leaky gut process has begun, it's sometimes difficult to overcome. So in order to help the leaky gut to repair and heal, we want to avoid the inflammatory foods and then start providing the appropriate nutrition for that gut to get better. Sometimes we have to address hidden infections like parasites or molds or bacteria or funguses, things like that. Sometimes we just have to avoid foods and provide a bunch of nutrients like glutamine in order to help the body heal the gut lining, allow the villi to repair appropriately, and prevent the unnecessary transfer or permeability that's going on inside of our gut. Leaky gut is a common condition with people that have gluten sensitivity, as well as individuals with celiacs, which allows for things to inappropriately pass back and forth through the gut lining while creating a lot of inflammation in the intestines. I'm Dr. Chase Hayden from the Hayden Institute where we help our patients to become healthy and well without the use of drugs and surgery. Have a great day.